All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Landed a big kick there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Side control now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Both fighters get up now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh, huge kick to the body. Oh, straight right. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. They continue to exchange. Straight punch lands. Try to chase down that finish. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! That wow. body's done, man. Body's done. Oh! Final seconds of round one. Oh! Knee to the body. How about those five minutes? So there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we would get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round. <laughs> Big call for punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, that right hand is on point, and he continues to work the body here. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Beautiful body kick. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Look at the turnover in that kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. No. Oh. oh. Big knee to the body. Big liver kick lands under the arm. Oh, oh, man, look what that one body shot did. That shows the power, and the power is the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Well, good news, bad news, right? The strike there lands, but just not much steam on it because his... Oh, oh big lead. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Knee to the body. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket.
mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Beautiful punch. Oh, man, head kick land. And that's as good a punch as he's thrown on. The punch that land down the middle. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. What a fight. Beautiful shot to end the fight.